Hello and welcome to my yoga flow. Today we're going to be starting in toes pose where we are just kneeling with the toes tucked under or you can be on your heels. Um, this flow will just be to stretch, kind of wake up and start to get the blood flowing, feeling a bit more alive. So set your intention minus to what I just said. Um, start by warming up the wrist, kind of get in sync with your breath. You can take small circles in one direction and flip your wrists each way. And when you're ready and feel a bit more warmed up with the wrist, you can take a child's pose. I have some yoga and meditation music playing in the background and my window open with the birds chirping. There might be some construction. Yep, and now take your shark fins and stretch out your upper back and arms. Then you're going to come up from your child's pose and thread the needle. Breathe into the side body. And then take it to the other side. Make sure your hips are stacked over your knees. Now we're going to come back up into tabletop and tuck the toe, no, yeah, you can tuck each toe under, stretch out the calves and hamstrings, then take a few cat cows just to get in sync with the breath. Once again, make sure your hips are stacked over your knees, shoulders stacked over the wrist. Making 90 degree angles, you can stretch side to side with the hips, take some more small spinal movements. Then send the hips back and up into our first downwards dog and pedal it out. I like to stretch into the side body a lot, so I shift my heels to one direction and look under my arm and bend the um, back knee and then I take it to the other side. Then find some stillness or you can grab for the opposite leg and again Kind of get a spinal twist in there. Now you're going to take your right leg, open up the hip, and your three-legged dog. Then you can bring it through and take it to the outside arm, swing it back the inside arm, inhale, swing it back, exhale, bring it knee to nose, and then step it through into a low lunge. Then you're going to sweep the arms up, inhale, and you can exhale cactus arms, inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms, inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale, bring it back down, pull your right hip back into runner's lunge. And roll through your foot back to your low lunge. You can place your elbows down into lizard pose, you can have that back leg down or up. After that, you're going to come back onto your hands and push it back to plank. And then take your Chaturanga Tadasana or Belly to Cobra. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Now we're going to take it to the other side. So sweep the left leg up to three-legged dog. Open up the hip and then close off the hips. Exhale, bring that leg to your inside elbow, sweep it up, bring it to your outside elbow, sweep it up, and then exhale knee to nose, hold it for a few seconds, and bring it through to your low lunge on your left side. Once again, sweep the arms up, inhale, 
you could always bring your hands to hip or hands to heart. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, bring it up and bring your arms down. Pull that left hip back into your runner's lunge. Flex the foot. You can have a slight micro bend in your knee. And roll it through to lizard pose. Come to the elbows. And you can straighten out that back leg and bring it up. Go onto your palms and then bring it back to plank pose. Now you can take a Chaturanga Tadasana on one leg. Bring it up to Cobra and Downward Facing Dog. Now you're going to hop or step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Actually, we're just going to stretch out for a second. You can hug the back of your legs or you can take opposite elbows and swing. You can bend your knees for more support. And now inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And bring it to eagle pose so you can take your right leg over and your right arm under and twist as much as you can. Really send the hips back, or send them down actually. Then bring it up to one-legged And then you can have this optional twist. Bring it back and send it to your warrior three. I like to have my arms out for then the lunge. Send it back to lunge. And then you have high lunge with your arms up. And exhale warrior two. Inhale, triangle pose. You're going to straighten the legs and the hips back. Send your torso forward and down. And then bring it all the way through to wide-legged forward fold. Bring your hands in line with your feet. And there's an optional headstand if it's in your practice. Um, but before that, you can stretch to each side. I grabbed for the opposite foot and opened and then I crossed my arms and pulled myself through my legs I really love spinal stretches in the morning they just really wake me up so now you can go into the optional headstand down, come back up onto your hands, and take it to the other side for high lunge. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, bring it to triangle pose. Straighten your leg and send your torso forward and down. You can optionally take the bind and grab for your arm behind your leg just for a deeper stretch, but it is a bit of a different stretch than the triangle pose. Now bring it back down through wide legged forward fold. Walk your feet in and um, bend your knees down to yogi squat. take crow pose if it's in your practice. I was kind of struggling a bit here, but that's all right. No. 
just make sure you look forward, bring your gaze forward so you don't roll over. There we go, I kind of had it for a second there. I've done better, just ignore that. <laughs> small micro bend in your knees. You can either reach for your shins or grab onto your toes with the peace fingers. Really breathe into the stretch, especially forward folds. A lot of the hamstring stretches and spinal twists, I really like to breathe into the legs, the hips, and the back, and the side body. Give yourself a hug, you know, in your forward fold. A little bit of self love, and then you can slowly bring it back up. And we'll take it to butterfly pose. So you bring the legs in and grab for the toes of the peace fingers, sit up straight. And then you can give yourself a little massage, especially since our feet walk our body all day, it's really important to kind of massage the arches. Then when you're ready, grab with the peace fingers and forward fold, still flat back. Then eventually you can round out the spine and put your head and neck fall naturally. If you touch the mat, that's okay. If not, that's great too. You can always bring your feet out a little further and cradle your head in the arches of your feet. Slowly bring it back up and sweep the arms up and twist to one side with your front arm on your opposite knee and the other arm reaching back. And sweep the arms back up to get to the other side. As you inhale, sit taller and as you exhale, take it further into the stretch. Now we are going to rock it back to our downward dog. We are going to walk to the top of the mat, inhale forward fold, exhale, or inhale halfway lift, exhale forward fold, inhale sweep the arms up into Ukatasana chair pose. You can bring your arms to heart center and twist to one side and push your chest to meet your heart. Then I took a balance. This is optional to balance your hips on one elbow and your knees on the other. Mine is definitely better on my right side. So you're gonna try to get it to a 90 degree angle with your knees. And then you can take a split if you want. Then bring it back to Ukatasana. Hands at heart center and twist to the other side. Again, the balance is optional. And then everyone meet back in Ukatasana, hands at heart center, sweep the arms up, or forward fold actually, jump it back to plank, and you're going to sweep your leg through, you're going to move it to the outside elbow, the inside to outside, then fold it per parallel to the floor, and then go into your pigeon pose, and stretch forward. Take a second here, come back to your intention. Maybe your intention was to be kind to yourself throughout the practice. Now bring it back up. You're going to go, you can twist to one direction if you'd like. And this part is also optional to take the back leg. I don't know what this pose is called, but I've seen it all over Instagram 
and it feels really good. <laughs> But the birds chirping too, wow. What a beautiful picture. Then bring it back to your plank. Bring the leg back up parallel to the floor and swing it back. Now you're gonna bring the other leg up. Swing it to your outside elbow, inside, outside. Make it parallel to the floor and bring it to pigeon pose. Stretch it forward optional for your forehead to meet the ground. Really breathe into the upper spine and hips. Now bring it back up for that optional twist. side was definitely harder but you are able to again take that back leg bent grab it with the elbow nook and take the bind with your hands it feels really good in the side body and then you're gonna slowly let go bring it back to plank make sure your shin is parallel with the floor Bring it back to plank, you can pedal it out, bring it to downward dog, then we're going to jump through into chair pose. Not chair pose, boat pose. <laughs> Just hold it for a bit, bring back your intention, you can point and flex through the feet. You can straighten your legs to actual boat pose. Bring out your arms, take whatever variation you'd like, you can take low boat to high boat to get a little ab workout whatever floats your boat <laughs> um, and then hold it low and you're gonna hold it low as long as possible until you're absolutely shaking in your abdomen then let it go to your um, savasana you can take an optional cobbler's pose but if not you can take a reclined pigeon you can straighten out that back leg if you'd like then you can take a supine twist with a straight leg then you can take the reclined pigeon to the other side optional to straighten that top leg bring it back down into your supine twist Try to get both your shoulders on the ground and your hips stacked above one another. Then you can bring it back and we will be going into our bridge pose. So bring your knees super close to your body, um, tuck the pelvis and slowly bring it up optional to interlace the fingertips really get those shoulder bones the shoulder blades underneath you then exhale slowly bring it all the way down take the whole length of your exhale each vertebrae at a time then you're gonna bring the knees in hug them you can bring the nose to knee Then you can optionally bring your knees to forehead and stretch it out or you could also take a shoulder stand you can bring it into plow pose slowly roll out 
out of it the same way you came in, knees to forehead. Or you can take your legs all the way down to Shavasana and come back to your t intention. Um, work your way from your feet all the way to the crown of your head, making sure the body parts are relaxed. So go from your feet, your toes, to your ankles, to your calves and shins, to your knees, to your thighs and quadriceps and hamstrings, to your hips. Really let out any tension in the hips, your lower back, your upper back your abdomen, your belly, your lungs, your heart, let everything go naturally, your shoulders, your elbows, your hands, your fingers, your chin, your jaw, soften your jaw, soften your ears, soften your eyes, soften your temple, and let any tension go through the crown of your head. Come back to the breath, feel your body connected to the ground, Listen to your surroundings, notice the quality of air, notice the clothes attached to your body. Really be in the present moment. You will never get this moment back, so really take advantage of it. Let your breath fall naturally. You can feel the rise and fall of your chest and belly. When you're ready, you can start wiggling your wrists and ankles, your fingertips, your toes. Maybe... Take it to one side, so fetal position, the position of rebirth, and all things new. And you can sit it up to seated savasana. Have your hands open on your knees to open any new experiences. And just be grateful for your practice. Thank yourself for showing up. You can bring your hands to your third eye. to your lips and to your heart center. You can bow your head to meet the top of your fingertips and bow as we exhale and say namaste.